What's up guys and welcome back to another final table bubble video. Well, it's not directly the final table bubble yet. Um, 17 players left, but it's looking quite nice. Um, let's make this a little bit larger. I will zoom in later when we are, if, <laughs> if we are actually making the final table. Um, yeah, looks nice, 5 on 17, however, we only have 18 big blinds, so this is massive high variance. It's a turbo tournament and people are kind of playing tight, which they probably should, depending on the stack size. Um, so far, was able to collect some nice bounties. Uh, here is the lobby showing my bounty, $290, pretty nice, I'm not complaining. Um, yeah, let's jump right into it. And I also want to, well, probably I should just, so, well, no, I, I leave this open in big size. And I also want to see the other table in a small size. And I'm going to zoom in if we make the final table. However, chances are pretty high, I would say, um, probably slightly, well, around 50% that we bust. Um, it's not f 5 out of 17 that we bust because I'm going to play aggressively to build a big stack and to collect bounties, which we might include um, borderline spots. Uh, that's the way to play, in my opinion, because you really want to play for first place in any bounty tournament. But it's nice, a triple all in. Uh, everybody has something here. <laughs> that's a crazy turn. Um, very unexpected for him, but the others still have some outs. And yep, that's crazy. So we have one bust here. And that's about it. Um, so five out of 16, unfortunately. Oh, we have a table change, I think. Yeah, makes sense. There's a new because there were actually two other tables left. Now there are only there's only one. Um, it's unfortunate. A lot of big stacks. We are among the the small stacks on this one. Uh, a little bit annoying. I will check the other tables. No, I'm sitting here, sitting here. This one. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate because. Only 13th place is getting more money, so the bump is still four players. Um, but after that, the money bumps are becoming more relevant. Mm. Easy fold, the king four. Um, I'm not in a position here to make big moves, uh, three betting light or anything. There's really not much. <laughs> I used to double him up, I think, before. Made a kind of a borderline three bet with ace 10 suited. And I also wanted, I was hoping for a flip against some of his hands here. And also, of course, wouldn't have minded a fold. He was very shallow. Um, I could have folded or just flatted my ace 10 suited, actually. I think a flat would have been better. And even a fold against early position wouldn't have been terrible. Um, but then again, um, yeah, I wanted his bounty, but yeah, slight mistake from my side, I think. So I chipped him up and it seems he was able to chip up even more from them. So congrats to this guy. I think this might be one of his biggest scores if, or there's a chance it will be, uh, looking at his current winnings so far. And again, blinds up and unfortunately we will be in the big blind the next hand. Uh, yeah, really shallow. We have an all in here and a call, which is interesting. I'm expecting him to be kind of wide here. King, queen suited, king, check suited, suited ace, x hand, some smaller pairs also. The open jam is probably not the strongest hand. Yeah, king, queen off. Yeah, makes sense. I guess it's a little bit loose, but I think it makes sense as the big stack because you're still probably only getting called by some hands you're flipping against and and very few stronger hands. I mean, it's kind of a cooler, but still a very aggressive play, of course. You could also open race and then 
decide if two people go in the king queen off would become a quick quick fold yeah he should be opening very wide but i don't think he's wide enough that well check eight it's kind of a defend but i really don't want to throw away my big blinds too easily but yeah um well now it's an easy fold so i would probably have defended jack eight is kind of good enough for that so this guy is definitely all in um probably i don't know why he's even waiting there's probably no chance to make a money bump mm, yeah good to know that he opens this one under the gun it's I think it's fine as the big stack on the table, but personally I prefer fold. Um, people are not, well, depends on who you ask, <laughs> depends on who is playing, but not all of these players will be needy here. It's still time to build a stack if you can. So he's probably also getting regemmed by eights plus, maybe some crazy seven, seven plus regem. Um, this is very borderline. If my stack would be smaller, I would possibly shove. Thing is, I'm also getting called probably by a seven and ace nine, so I don't even have two life cards every time I get called here. Um, as the bigger stack, I wouldn't hate the jam, depending on our stack sizes. But yeah, I think the fault here is fine. I could limp, but I think he will be raising way too much, so. My limp becomes very unprofitable. If he raises to three big blinds here, um, when I limp, I probably get the odds to call with 9-7 suited, but that's terrible. We are already suddenly losing 2.5 extra big blinds, which we want to keep um, in a spot where we have a better chance to double up. So, yeah, I think the fold here was fine. Not happy with it. <laughs> I like to play my hands. Um, if I can also post flop, okay, steal and regem. Since he doubled up here with ace king, uh, he seems to be steamrolling. Must be nice. I expect some re raises here, also flats and playbacks post flop. Generally speaking, this is a flop that should hit both the ranges, maybe even slightly more the big blind ranges because he shouldn't have too many nines except for maybe king nine, queen nine, which is the absolute nuts. Um, oh, okay, ABC play gets through. Interesting. Queens, probably not falling these. Oh my god. Um, I could call here and play it very, but I think a jam is just the right play. Gonna jam this. Hoping to see an all-in on the other table, um, so I can maybe make the money bump. It's thirty dollars. Not mega important, but if you can, you should always try to play in a way that gives you the highest chance to take the next money bump. Um, that makes a difference in the long run. And we still have a good time bank here, but we just get a fold. Yeah. I don't think there's much much room to play it differently. Uh, my stack is too tiny to make a. 3-bet, it looks way too strong. I would also be rejamming 10s, 9s here, I think. 7-5, um, not much I can do. I could open jam, would be crazy. Um, nah. Uh, open race, yeah, sometimes, but not as the medium stack. The ICM situation as a medium stack is, um, is in a way that um, should incline you to play quite conservatively. So we have an all in here. Hopefully, well, hopefully he picks something. It's a good turn. He still uh, or he, he gets the tens as extra outs, but probably. Let's see. No. So still fourteen left here. Yeah. What I want to say is like. Just preserve your, your chips, don't open marginal hands, be a little bit too needy, um, unless you definitely know someone else is even more needy and you can exploit them. But generally speaking, it's just a good idea to 
play tight, play aggressive in the right spots. And if you, for some reason, get the chip lead, yeah, you can start to loosen it up, but also not just blindly opening any hand like him, ace nine, uh, it's on the, it's borderline, it's okay, but it's also not great, I think. Um, so yeah, of course, in any situation you need mindful play and he's all in. <laughs> um, I'm gonna open this one. Yeah, it's kind of borderline and I will have to call him. But this blocks some very strong hands. It looks very strong under the gun. Yeah, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> I have to fold now. Quite unfortunate. I think he will also take some marginal spots here. Not much I can do. I would just snap fold, I think. I mean, he, we can let him um, kill his timing a little bit. Queens with his ace jack suit. Seems kind of standard. Let's hope the queens hold. It's a good turn. That's unfortunate for the 2.1 big blinds, but I I still don't hate the open. You can also just fold, but still I think it's generally a good open. It looks very strong and um, yeah, sometimes I'm doing this with queens plus here, ace king suited maybe. Mm, okay, so we take the next money bump. Let's see what's next. Well, again, just $35 more um, if you make it to 11th place. So not really relevant. We just try to p to build a stack here. Also a thing to keep in mind, our $150 bounty does play a role. So if we ship all in, um, yeah, I still have a tiny NLO8 also on stars on the side, but anyway, oh, that's very lucky for him. <laughs> um, the bounty, our bounty plays a role, so people will call slightly lighter, lighter, even though they should be tight um, when they call because the chips are more important than the bounty. But yeah, one hundred fifty dollar definitely makes a, a considerable difference. Unlucky for him. Um, I mean, what the heck? He just jammed under the gun. King eight four. How many big blind was that? Race three one seven seven. So that was nine big blinds. I think that's too loose. That's bad. <laughs> well, okay, maybe it's super GTO. Looking at his winnings, probably shouldn't say anything. But I still think it's too like. I mean, it looks very very strong, but king eight. I mean. Kind of, it's kind of a dicey hand. You're blocking some king x. Yes, that's good, I guess. But on the other hand, um, if you're getting called, sometimes you're totally dominated. Um, and I don't know. Uh, I think it's just not a good play. I understand that he was on the, like, would have been in the big blind next hand. Was it really? Oh, and because now. How many big blinds was it? Let me check again. Well, it was, yeah, nine big blinds actually. No, ah, sorry guys, I was reading the small blind. So, okay, it's fine. It's just five big blinds or maybe even slightly less. So, yep, yep, oops. <laughs> King eight with less than five big blinds, um, seven handed. Seems fine if we are in the big blind next hand. So we have an all in again. He's probably gonna call here. Massive bounties on the line. But it's also, I mean, the 9.7 is kind of relevant against the knit. He has super nitty stats. So I, I think he might find a fault, but he doesn't. Yeah, makes sense with all the bounty. What a deuce. Oh, he probably. Wow, that would be great if his king five can hold here. It's a bad turn. I mean, I want to have a double knockout. Mm, okay, it's not a diamond, that's good. Here's still some outs, tens and aces, uh, tens and, yeah, a lot, tens, aces, jacks. Okay, great. Love to see it, double knockout, so we make 35 more dollars and are closer to the final table. But I mean, 8.6 big blinds, <laughs> not much room to play. We're gonna get called pretty light. 
um, but still one two three stacks here oh that's great <laughs> would be nice to to see him back up here but okay his queen is king uh, that's bad he might be chipping up here and now he only has two outs left with the flush draw on the turn and that's not an out for our ace queen guy nice cooler here Quite unfortunate not to see a knockout in this spot. Check three, nothing I can do. Luckily, still some time until the next blind ingre increase, so we can survive another round without too much stress, too much pressure. But of course, it's not not great. But I already said that. So one, two. Th yeah, the baby stack from here moved to the other table. It's interesting. Wow, he has it this time. Ace nine. Wow, that's a fishy leg call. I hope still he kicks him out. Um, yeah. <laughs> if he doesn't get a ten or a nine, he's out. Wow. That was very aggro. But uh, yeah, I mean, he's not probably not the best player. And here, king six wins. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Baby stack chipping up. But we had the direct bubble, so I'm glad I'm not getting a hand like a seven or king jack, um, which I probably need to play, but also gives us a high chance to bubble the final table. Um, making some bumps here is definitely relevant. I see I'm quite high. <laughs> and this guy, I, I hope he doesn't fold. I mean, 0 0.2 big blinds. Oh, well, he can see a flop for free, so. <clears throat> Have to fold here. Um, <laughs> pocket force. And I had 4-3 offsuit, lol. Um, what should I write here? I think it was around 10 big blinds, not sure, but yeah. I think that's an interesting note to have. 5-4 I need to fold, but I think he would probably call very wide here, and he can, I guess, with his massive stack. So, kind of glad not to get a shoving hand. That's unfortunate, this guy doubled up, my god. That's very unfortunate, wow. And he finds a jam and gets it through. I mean, I would love to pick up a hand that gives me a chance to get more chips yeah but still nothing I can do here um, I mean I can't just jam 6-4 off suddenly it's quite interesting can make this a little bit bigger too yeah he should jam wide for sure does he jam I think <laughs> that's that's an interesting spot here uh, if you get an ace x hand I think you have to jam, yeah, but given that he can also call, I mean, he looks very strong, but I think he should almost call any two still. <laughs> he folds. Yeah, I don't know. Some hands you maybe can fold, I don't know. Can't jam 8-3 suited, and now the blinds increased again. Queen of F suited, not much I can do with this hand. Ooh, hate to see the blinds going through me. Next hand. 
interesting here. Why is he tanking? There's no need to tank unless you want to jam all in and see if someone hears all in and fold. Okay. I mean, I think $75 bounty, you would have to invest 2.5 blinds. Probably these guys should be very inclined to call still. I mean, big blind should call here. And he does too. Interesting. I mean, it's good. I take the 65 or almost $70 bump that's coming up. He leads, so that's most likely a flush draw, nine or, yeah, open ender makes sense, but he is the better open ender, but still seven makes his hand. Oh no, please don't chip up again. <sighs> seven? No. Nice hand, queen high, triple up with queen high, quite impressive. Maybe I can do it now. <laughs> Oh, 10 5. It's just gonna be a fold. Ooh, this isn't much fun. Yep, nice hand. <laughs> and now he has ace queen. That's fun. Wow, wow. I'm jealous. Queen 4. So what I probably have to jam is the tiniest stack now. Unless he jams. Ah. Yeah, it's a fold in this case. I guess. Oh, they are all in, so it's definitely a fold now. Okay, yeah, please hold. <laughs> okay, guys, we made another final table, even though I've seen better positions, um, but yeah. Still happy to have a final table. I'll be zooming in now. Um, let me see this one. So, da, 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 da. can make this a little bit smaller. Why is this like this? Huh. I think that's better. So I think this allows you to see everything quite well. And for me, it's also kind of comfortable. Um, is this on break? Uh, okay, four minute, minutes break. I will also go on break. This is just a short episode. Luckily, we got a blind increase, which we really need. I mean, still, it's just 7.7 .7 big blinds. But I mean, these guys also can't just totally knit it up. So if you're super lucky, we're getting some money bumps in. And the next one is already $90. So yeah, let's hope for the best and see you guys and girls in the next one. Bye-bye um, for now.